Hello everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 16 of the tutorial series on AWS HTTP API. So guys, in this video, we are going to learn about stage variables and how we can use them. So basically stage variables are name value pairs that you can define as configuration attributes associated with a deployment stage of the HTTP API. So basically stage variables are nothing but the environment variables. So they act as the environment variables and we can use them within API gateway for configuration. So let's get started. So guys, as you can see on my screen, I have quickly come up with this diagram to demonstrate that how stage variables work. So we are going to understand this diagram using an example. So let's take an example that we have two stages over here and they are dev and prod as you can see. So here we have the stage and we have dev stage and the prod stage, correct? And here the end user will invoke or will have access to the prod stage and the developer will have access to the dev stage respectively, correct? So now for example, let's consider that we have slash get data route that is over here with the get method and we have the lambda function as the backend integration for the same. So now what we want is that whenever the user or end client invokes the get data route, then the prod lambda function should get executed. So here, as you can see here, we have respective lambda function for the dev environment and the stage environment. So while any user calls the uh, prod invocation URL, then the prod lambda function should get executed. And when the developer invokes the get data route, then the dev lambda function that is over here should get executed, correct? So how can we achieve this? And the answer is the stage variables. So let's have a look at it uh, practically, correct? So here we are going to create two Lambda function very quickly. So let me navigate to AWS Management Console, search for Lambda. And once you're within Lambda Management Console, click on create function, give the function name, I will say dev Lambda. Runtime as Python 3.8. I will choose an existing role that is Lambda hyphen API gateway role and say create function. Now, once the Lambda function is created, we are going to modify the response. So instead of hello from Lambda, we will say dev invoked or we will say dev Lambda invoked. Okay, uh, we will save this and we will say deploy. Now let's create the another Lambda function. So say create function here. I will say prod Lambda Python 3.8 as runtime. I will choose an existing role. I'll say Lambda hyphen API and we will say create function. Now again, once the Lambda function is created, we are going to modify this response. We will say prod lambda invoked. We will save this and we will say deploy. Now, since we have both the lambda function that is mentioned over here, that is dev lambda function and the prod lambda function, correct? Now we will go back to the API gateway and we will click on routes. So here we will quickly create the route that is slash get data. Okay. With the get method. So I will say create route. I will select get method over here and I will say get data and we will say create. So here we have created the new resource or the route that is slash get data with the get method. So here we have successfully created the slash get data route or the resource with the get method. So we are going to select the get method over here. And as we see that we don't have any integration at this point of time. So we will say attach integration. And since we don't want to select the existing integration from this drop down, we are going to say create a new integration for us. And here within integration type, as we know that we will select Lambda function and within integration details here, we have the AWS region that is US H2 one in my case. And then we need to select the Lambda function. Now here we have two Lambda function and we want to invoke specific Lambda function uh, using dev or the prod stage respectively, correct? So I can't select dev lambda function over here, or I cannot select only the prod lambda function over here, right? So what we want is that we need to invoke that backend integration dynamically. So that's where we are going to use the stage variables. So here, instead of selecting the lambda function, we are going to mention the ARN of the lambda function, not the specific lambda function, right? So let's have a look. So here I will say ARN colon AWS colon the service that is lambda colon followed by region name that is us is one in my case us is one 
colon followed by account id so i will copy and paste followed by function and function would be followed by the function name that we want to invoke correct now function name is something that we want to keep it dynamic right so whenever the developer is invoking the uh, dev stage then dev lambda function should get invoked and whenever the user invokes the api endpoint using a uh, prod stage invocation url then prod lambda function should get invoked correct so here, instead of mentioning the lambda function, we will fetch the value from the stage variable. Now to fetch the value from the stage variable, here we will say dollar. So this is kind of standard syntax, dollar stage variables. Okay, variables dot the stage variable name. Now here within the diagram, we have used function as the stage variable. So here we will define stage variables dot function. So this is basically the standard syntax, right? To access the stage variable that is dollar curly braces stage variables and which would be followed by the stage variable name that you want to access, correct? So right now we have not defined the function as the stage variable, but we will define in some time. Now, once this configuration is done, uh, we are going to leave rest of the option as it is. And then we have invoke permission. So here invoke permission does not make sense. Why? Because here we have not mentioned the lambda function name. So here API gateway will not know that uh, to which Lambda function the permission needs to be added because here we have the stage variable. So we will have a look at it in some time that how it goes. Okay. So here we will say create. So guys, now as a next step, I'm going to create two stages that is dev and prod just to demonstrate this, right? So I'm going to click on stages under deploy. I will say create a stage. I will give the stage name that is dev. Add a description if you want. I will enable automatic deployment for now and then I will say create. So I want to add the stage variable, but that is something I will show you at later point of time. So let me quickly create the stage for now. So I will say create and then I'm going to create the another stage that is prod. Okay. So say create and I will say prod again. I will enable automatic deployment over here and we will say create. Now, as you can see here, we have dev and prod stage. Now we are going to add the environment variable to both the stages. Okay, let's start with the dev. So click on dev, say edit. And here you will be able to see the stage variable, say add stage variable. Now here which stage variable we want to add. So that is function. Why function? Because that is the same uh, variable that we are trying to access as a part of the Lambda function, right? As a part of the backend integration that we have configured just before some time for the slash get data route. Okay, so that's function and which value or which lambda function we want to invoke as a part of the dev that is dev lambda. So I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. Okay, so we are done with the dev stage. So I'm going to say save. Similarly, we are going to configure the prod stage. So select the prod stage, say add it, say add stage variable, say function. And here instead of dev lambda, we are going to say prod lambda. Okay say copy and paste it over here and say save. So now since we have created the dev and the prod stage and we have also configured the stage variables, it's time to test it out, All right? So I'm going to copy the invocation URL of the prod stage and we will navigate to postman. I will open a new tab. I will say paste it over here and I want to invoke get data route, correct? With the get method and we will say send. So guys, here, as you can see, it returns status code 500 that is internal server error. And why is that? It's because at this point of time, API gateway does not have permission to invoke the backend integration and the backend integration is the prod lambda function, right? Because we are invoking or we are using the prod stage URL. So if we look at the configuration within this lambda function and click on permission, and if we scroll down to resource based policy, then this is empty, right? Because the policy or the permission has not been added over here. So that's the reason API gateway is not able to, or is not permitted to invoke this backend integration that is prod lambda function. And why that happened? It's because if we look at the integration of the slash get data resource, then here we have not mentioned the Lambda function name. Instead, we have mentioned the stage variables, right? So that's the reason API gateway does not know where to add that permission. And that's the reason API gateway don't have the permission to invoke either dev Lambda function or the prod Lambda function. So now what we need to do is we need to explicitly add that permission for API gateway to access or invoke the Lambda function. So we will go to the prod Lambda function. 
Now to add the permission, we need to click on add permission over here. Here we will select AWS service because we want to give access to the specific service that is API gateway. Correct. And then principle is going to be the API gateway dot Amazon AWS dot com. And here we need to mention the source ARN. So to which resource we want to give access to. Correct. So I'm going to copy and paste the source ARN. So that is the standard, right? That is ARN call an AWS followed by execute hyphen API followed by the region name, followed by account ID, followed by the API ID, right? So API ID, you can get it from here. You can simply click over here and here is your API ID, correct? Followed by, here we have the wildcard. So this wildcard uh, depicts the uh, stage name. So here we can say prod stage. You can restrict it to prod stage, right? But we will uh, have it as the wildcard for now. And then this another wildcard is for the HTTP verb or the method. If you want to restrict access to the get method, then you can define that get method over here. Okay. But let's keep it wildcard and then the resource name that you want to provide access to. So in our case, the resource name is get data. Okay. That's basically source ARN and which action you want to allow that is invoke function. We want to allow API gateway or we want to allow slash get route to invoke this uh, function correct so that's the reason we have selected action as the invoke function and then statement id you can enter any statement id that you want i will say prod one two three okay and then we will say save and once the permission is added you will be able to see the api gateway mentioned over here because now it has the permission now let's go back to postman and let's try to reinvoke this api endpoint so we will say send and now as you can see, oh, it says dead lambda invoked. Why is that? Let's have a look at the code. Oh, I don't even remember I entered dead. It should be prod, right? So we will save this and say deploy. Let me reinvoke this. So now as you can see it returns status code 200 with the appropriate response that is prod lambda invoked. So now we know that if we receive internal server error at the first instance then we need to check for the permission whether that resource or the route have access or had permission to invoke that specific backend integration or not. Similarly we need to do for the dev lambda function also. So select the dev lambda function say configuration okay click on permission from the left panel, say add permission, select AWS service that is API gateway, principal leave it as it is, configure the ARN. So here again I will say get data, correct you can configure the uh, stage name and the method that you want to allow or deny to. So that's where you can configure this wildcard and the action would be invoke function and statement ID. I will say dev one, two, three, and we will say save. So now as you can see here, we have used the prod invocation URL and that's the reason we have the response saying prod lambda function invoked. Now let's try to invoke the similar endpoint with the dev stage. Now I will replace prod with dev over here and we will say send. And now it should be able to return dev lambda invoked, right? As you can see, it returns status code 200 and the dev lambda function is invoked. So this is how you can handle the invocation dynamically for prod and stage or any other environment that you have. So if we look at the diagram, then while the developer is invoking the API endpoint using dev URL or the dev stage, then the dev lambda function is getting invoked. And while the end client or the user is trying to invoke the API endpoint using prod stage URL, then the prod lambda function is getting invoked. Now, apart from this, one thing I want you to take note is that while we use the stage variable for a lambda function, the function must be in the same account as the API. So if your API endpoint or API gateway is in US H1, then your lambda function should also be in the US H1 region. Because at this point of time, stage variables does not support cross account lambda function, right? So I just want you to take note of that. Right now, apart from uh, this lambda function configuration, where else we can use the stage variables? 
So basically you can also use the stage variable for the HTTP URI integration type. So click on integration from the left panel here. We will say manage integration and we will say create. Now here, instead of Lambda function, you can select the HTTP URI and here within URL, you can define the stage variables, right? You can use the stage variables to fetch the appropriate URL that you want to invoke. So that's where you can use the stage variables. Apart from that, you can also use stage variable as a part of the AWS user or the role credential ARN. So I hope uh, you get the idea of the stage variables and how you can use that. So to access the stage variable, we have the uh, standard format that is dollar curly braces stage variables dot stage variable name that you want to access. So guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on, on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.